and welcome. I'm Nicholas Godola Holmes, a high school student dual enrolled at the University of Michigan Flint. And today I submit the following resolution. This house believes that a overriding ethical obligation to protect and preserve extraterrestrial microbial life and ecosystems should be incorporated into international law. Such an overriding ethical obligation is defined as a duty to protect life that is great enough to seriously factor into any decisions made that could affect the aforementioned beings. This resolution is fundamentally about whether we have the same ethical obligations to the entire universe as we have to our own planet, whether we should act responsibly, not only to, towards systems and life forms that are in close proximity to us, but also to all forms of life, even distant ones. First, I will demonstrate why this issue is serious. Then I will elaborate on how the respect that this resolution mandates will protect alien forms of life as well as our own. And let us begin. While space is a very different and highly dramatized place, remember that it is truly just the final frontier, the last in a succession of similar leaps of exploration mankind has already made. But will we treat life that we encounter out there in the same manner that we have treated life we have already encountered down here? According to American narrative history, within a few decades of European contact with the American continents, over 90% of Native Americans had died. We cannot let such a terrible tragedy darken the universe once again, nor stain our history. The brash and sword-sided Europeans also brought numerous new flora and fauna that, according to the textbook Western Civilizations, destroyed and forever altered many Native ecosystems. And we see this continuing to happen today. According to National Geographic, Every year, an amount of forest equal to the size of the country of Panama is forever stolen from ourselves, from our children, and from the animals that once called those forests home. We cannot allow the same tragedy to happen to the ecosystems and life forms we shall encounter beyond this planet. For if we treat our own Mother Earth, who in her bounty sustained our lives, with so little respect, with so little common decency, how should we treat the Earths of other beings that we do not rely on, and how shall it impact them? Even microbes, though they are small and seemingly meaningless, are necessary for the survival of all known advanced life. According to Irvin Hirschfeld, professor of, of biology at St. John's University, we are so dependent on the microorganisms that live inside of us that we can be classified as human microbe hybrids. If future space explorers irresponsibly destroyed alien microbes, it would topple the complex ecosystems that they are the foundations of and harm more advanced life that exists there. Further, these microbes offer a priceless glimpse into life itself, allowing us to glimpse the secrets of the beginning of life. It would be a scientific calamity of unprecedented scale if they were negligently destroyed before science could learn from them. Not only could our brash actions destroy alien life, but could also harm ourselves by foreign pathogens and very dangerous parasites. If one thing in history is clear, it is that humans excel at mindless destruction. Just as humans destroyed the people and ecosystems of frontiers previously conquered, we could do the same thing to frontiers that are about to be. And in the process, we would destroy fragile and precious life forms, breathtaking scientific breakthroughs, and even ourselves. The time for action is now, before our better angels and higher principles are clouded by greed and national gain. Thank you.